Hi everybody, Kurt from MasterQuest 1 here, and I'm going to make a real quick video on my processing, and I'm going to show you my subframes for the Lion Nebula, which is SH2101. I, it came out better than I anticipated, and in fact I got my second uh, top pick on Astrobin, so thank you very much Astrobin. Anyways, the reason I'm doing this real quick video, and I, ha I had no idea that I was going to make it, I, I'm working on another project right now. I'm working on uh, the Tulip Nebula, and my oxygen for that was really not, not much there. And then we had those forest fires, and we got some of the smoke from the forest fires, even though they're out, out on the west coast. It, start, it made the, the skies here on the east coast really cruddy looking. And so I was shooting oxygen, and it, they were terrible. And I wanted to see what the oxygen data actually looks like, just the oxygen subframes, because I did the hydrogen elf, and that came out looking real well. And so I was looking, where can I find this information? And suddenly I remembered, dun, 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 Chuck, one of Chuck's uh, videos. He always shows all his subframes, which is a great idea. So I figured I'd go back and show you my subframes for the Lion Nebula, because yeah, as I said, that came out better than I expected. So I'm, I think I'm going to start doing that on a lot of these images. I'm just going to start making quick videos where you can see my subframes. And I'll do I'll show you some of the processing I did uh, for that. But it's going to be a real quick video. Anyways, so uh, without any further ado, let's go take a look. All right. So, uh, actually, I made a mistake. Uh, it, the, the Lion Nebula is uh, SH2132, not 101. 101 is actually the Tulip Nebula in my mind as well. Anyway, so let's take a look at this uh, Lion Nebula stuff. So here's my original HA. So this was hot off the press. I didn't do anything with it. This is what the hydrogen looked like. And then after me tweaking it and playing tilting links with it, this is what it ended up being. Okay. Here is my oxygen data. My original oxygen data from the Lion Nebula. So I didn't do anything with it. So you can see it's much less distinction than the hydrogen. And here's after tweaking it. So I made it a little better. And here's sulfur. Okay, again, it's much less than the hydrogen, but it's still there. You can see it. And here we go. And here's after me tweaking it. I then combined it. And I wound up with this, and then I made a starless image and played with the colors. I did a lot of this color manipulation in Photoshop. So I use Photoshop and PixInsight. So I'm one of those people, I'm not strictly one or the other. So I'm not that good with PixInsight where I can do everything in PixInsight. I'm not super great with Photoshop. So I use PixInsight to do a lot of this stuff. So I end up using both. And I, I, I suppose a lot of people are like that. Anyways, after I combined the data with uh, my RGB stars, I wound up getting this. Now this image looked pretty good. And I used my, one of my new favorite programs is that Topaz Denoise. I think it does a wonderful job. The only thing about this image that I didn't like too much, and it's probably hard to see for you guys uh, at home, it's not as sharp around the edges. And so what I did is I, I made another luminosity image, or I combined another luminosity with, the, with this image of the hydrogen alpha. So I combined the hydrogen alpha luminosity and spoofed it up a bit, and it sharpened up the edges. It brought back a little bit of the stars, so I had to do a little bit more star reduction. But overall, I was very happy with this image. Anyway, so that's it with this. And as I said, I wanted to show you what my subframes looked like in case you're doing this object so you can see what, they, see what they're all about. When I was doing the Tulip Nebula, I was getting some really bad data from the forest fire. So let me show you what that is here. So here is oxygen, 91 subframes, four minutes each of oxygen. I just got this little bit in here and I was like really concerned with that. So I did another 43 frames last night where the, when, after the fires 
cleared and this is what I got. So it's much more defined, I think, in, in my opinion. So I, I think this image looks a lot better. If you if I scroll in a bit and compare them, you can actually see the uh you can see the difference. There you go. They're about the same same frame. So this one's just looks so much better. I'm not even gonna use this uh the this six hours of data. I'm just gonna trash it. Uh, I'm going to take another night of oxygen tonight. The uh, forest fires are gone, so this looks much better. Here's what the hydrogen looks like. And as I said, the hydrogen now, it looks like really good. So anyways, hope you thought this was useful, and we'll see you next time.